Hi everyone, welcome to this strong and powerful vinyasa practice. So in today's practice, we're really, really gonna move. I'm gonna challenge you, we're gonna build some heat, we're gonna build some energy. So please, please, please just modify and adjust as much as you need to. It's a practice for a reason, it's not made to be perfect. Just enjoy it and have fun. Uh, we're gonna jump straight into things today and we're gonna start in downward facing dog and just take a couple of breaths there. So when you're ready, make your way into down dog, no rush to get there. And just take a moment to set yourself up. So thinking about fingers spreading wide, notice where you wanna place your feet, let the shoulders soften, let the ankles soften. And then straight away, let's just begin to move here. So begin to take any movements, anything at all that feels right for you. You can bend the knees, you can shake the hips, you can make, take some rolls, maybe you lift a leg. The possibilities are really endless, so just do whatever feels natural for you right now. And as you're taking these kind of welcoming movements into your practice, same as any other yoga practice, just begin to connect with your breath. So although we're going to be moving dynamically, we're going to work our strength, our stamina, the Breath is still the priority. We still want to maintain a steady rhythm to it. Good, so when you've had enough movement, just take a moment in stillness, relax the ankles, tailbones lifted high. On your next inhale, way forward to come into your first high plank position, shoulders are above the wrists. And then exhale, just wave it back, coming into your down dog. Twice more like that, inhale, way forwards, just warming up through the shoulders. And exhale, wave all the way back, downward facing. One more time, inhale, way forwards to high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, lower all the way to the belly. Keep the hands where they are, untuck the toes, inhale for a little cobra, squeeze the bum, lift the chest. And then exhale, tuck the toes, lift up and back downward facing dog. Beautiful, from here bring your big toes together. Little bend into your knees, begin to walk the hands all the way towards the feet. When you get there, sink the hips low and inhale straight away, chair pose, reach the arms up. Yeah, so we're jumping straight into things. Think about drawing the thumbs nice and high, you're activating through the upper back. We only have a short practice, so we really want to kind of build heat fairly quickly. And this is a great place to do that. So sink a little bit deeper and then take one more inhale, lift the thumbs higher and then exhale, straighten the legs to whatever degree as you forward fold. Inhale, flat back, hands to floor or shins. And then exhale, walk the hands all the way to high plank. Good, now from high plank, option one is stay. Option two, drop the knees. Option three, lower chaturanga. Good, and then inhale, we're gonna push back into our plank. And then exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. So we're gonna go through this twice more. And just remember those options, you can take it to whatever degree you want to take it to. Good, bring the big toes together. Bend the knees, begin to walk the hands all the way towards the feet. Inhale, sink the hips, find chair pose, Utkatasana. This time, exhale straight away, forward fold, hands to the floor. Inhale, flat back, lift the chest. Exhale, walk to high plank. And then lower, either chaturanga or don't, just stay in plank. Inhale, press into high plank. Exhale, wave back into down dog. Bend the knees, inhale, begin to walk the hands towards the feet. Sink the hips low, raise up into chair pose. Good, sink down low, inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs as you fold. Last one, inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk the hands forwards and then bend the elbows lower, chaturanga or don't. Inhale, press back up into plank. Exhale, lower back, downward facing dog. Good, take the feet about hip distance apart. Just take a moment, breath in. And exhale, let it go. Really, really nice. On your next inhale, look between the hands. Come up high onto your tippy toes, squeeze the belly. Now you're gonna bend the knees and you can either step or you're gonna jump the feet to the outside edges of the hands. 
once you get there, sink down nice and low. Inhale, reach the arms forwards into this kind of wide variation of, ch of chair pose or an active malasana. Lift the thumbs high, activate the upper back. Good, breath in. And then exhale, hands down, jump or step back into down dog. Good, we're gonna do this a few more times. Inhale, look forwards, lift heels. Exhale, bend knees, step or jump the feet wide. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down, jump back, down dog. Go a little faster, inhale, look forwards. Exhale, bend knees, step or jump. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hands down, down dog, jump. Good, again, inhale, lift heels, look up. Exhale, bend knees, jump forwards. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back, down dog. We have one more, inhale, look forwards. Exhale, bend knees, step or jump. Inhale, raise the arms up. This time as you exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms and find your mountain pose. Good, big inhale. And let it go. Lovely, just heel toe the feet together. Big toes touching and just find length through the spine. From here, let's inhale, bend the knees, find chair pose. Good, now keep your thumbs up to the sky. This is gonna be more challenging. Or bring your hands to the heart. Begin to shift the weight into the left foot and then see if you can lift the right heel towards the bum. Point your right toe, you're on your left leg, inhale. Now as you exhale, extend the right leg, tap towards the back of the mat. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, extend and tap. Inhale, back in. Exhale, that's free. Inhale, back in. Exhale, four, we're only going for five. Inhale, back in. Exhale, extend, beautiful. Inhale, back in. Exhale, place the right foot down, straight to the left. Draw the left heel towards the bum, point the toe. Take a moment. Inhale. Exhale, extend and tap. Inhale, back in. Exhale to tap. Inhale, back in. Exhale to tap twice more. Inhale in. Exhale to tap. You've got it. Inhale in. Exhale to tap. Amazing. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, feet down. Extend the legs forward fold. Good. Take a moment here. Breath in. And sigh it out. Lovely. On an inhale, look forwards, lift heels. Exhale, hands down, step, or if you're ready, jump back to plank. Lower through your chaturanga or to the belly. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or up dog, take it easy if you need to. Exhale, push back, downward facing. Good, just reset the breath in and out of the nose. Lovely, good. From here, inhale, way forwards to high plank. Good, shoulders are above the wrist, really, really pressing through the hands, really strong for your core. As you inhale, lift the right heel towards the sky, the right foot lifts. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the nose. Good, now as you inhale, step the right foot back, drop the hips, lift the chest into this up dog position. Now as you exhale, draw the left knee into the chest, squeeze the belly, we're gonna repeat this. Inhale, step back, drop the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, right knee into the chest. Inhale, up dog variation, lift up. Exhale, left knee draws it in. One more, inhale, drop hips, lift chest. Exhale, right knee draws in, hold. Look forwards, step right foot between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot as you inhale, rise to high lunge. Reach the arms up, bend into it, breath in, and let it go. Good, one more in-breath. And then open into a warrior two as you exhale. Good, inhale here. Exhale, bend into it. Good, one more in-breath. 
and then exhale, bring right forearm to thigh, reach left arm to the sky. Good, stay here or reach left arm over the ear. Stay here if you want even more fire, right arm reaches forwards. You're using your obliques, your core to keep you here. Good, breath in. Smile, breath out. I'm struggling to smile. Good, one more in breath. And exhale. Good, bring right forearm back to thigh. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. And then exhale, easy twist. You're gonna cartwheel the left hand down, right arm to the sky as you pivot onto the toes of that left foot. Good, and then from here, turn the little toe edge of the left foot down. Step the right foot back into your side plank. Remember, you can always drop the left knee onto the floor if you need to. Reach the right arm towards the front of the room. Lift the right leg up, big breath in. Exhale, bring elbow to knee, knee to elbow for one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, three. Inhale, extend. Exhale, four. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, five, so good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, look down. Place right hand down, right toes down. Either down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Ooh, take a big in breath. And let it go. <sighs> really, really nice. Let's inhale. Roll forwards to plank. Good, exhale here, set yourself up. Core's active, inhale, lift left leg up. Exhale, left knee to the nose, try and give it a little smooch. Inhale, step back, drop hips, lift chest into this up dog variation. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Inhale, step back, drop hips, lift chest. Exhale, left knee draws in. Inhale, step back, lift chest. Exhale, right knee draws in. You have one more. Inhale, step back, lift chest. Exhale, left knee to nose, hold. Look forwards, left foot steps between the hands. So nice. Stay there, core's active. Inhale, rise. High crescent lunge, reach up. Good, breath in and breath out, good, one more, and then warrior two is your exhale, open up, and just enjoy a moment here, quite a nice steady yoga pose, good, breathe in, and then exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm to the sky, or reach it over the ear, Core's active, you're pressing into both feet, you're really using the legs, stay, or extend that left arm forwards. Imagine you're holding a big beach ball, you're really using your core breath in, and out. Good, one more in breath. And then exhale, left forearm to thigh. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the right hand down, left arm high, easy twist. Stay here or pivot to the little toe edge of the back foot. Side plank, extend left leg back. Reach left arm over the ear, lift up the left leg, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch, that's two. Inhale, extend. Exhale for three. Inhale, extend. Exhale, four, one more, inhale, extend. Squeeze, 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 last time, five. Inhale, extend. Exhale, look down, left hand down, left toes down, either down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend if you're going there. And then exhale all the way back, downward facing dog, breath in. And let it go. Really, really nice. Take a moment. We're not done yet, I'll be honest, but keep breathing. You're doing so well. Nearly, nearly there. Let's inhale, look between the thumbs. We're going to come to boat pose. So either step, walk or jump, cross the ankles, come through and lift the legs into your boat pose. Bring feet together, 
arms up, legs can be bent or straight, your choice. Now any lower back problems, you're gonna place your elbows on the floor and you're just gonna move your legs. Otherwise, inhale here. And then as you exhale, low boat pose, lower back comes down, legs extend. Inhale, boat. Exhale, low. Inhale, boat. Exhale, free. Inhale, boat. Exhale, four. Inhale, boat. Exhale, four. Five. <laughs> Hold. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a moment, just rock from side to side. <sighs> I didn't realize how hard it is to talk and do these yoga flows, these really strong ones. So take a moment. Good, now from here, coming into a little bit of fun, well, my idea of fun anyway, let's hope you agree. So our little pistol squat rocks. So feet are flexed, extend the right leg. Hands can be up or down, your choice. You can use your momentum, you're gonna rock back, you're gonna roll forwards, left foot's on the floor, right leg lift, see if you can lift the bum. You can have the hands down, you can have the hands up. Good, now we're gonna roll back. We're gonna switch the legs, right knee bends, right foot down, lift left up. Good, you keep going like that, just roll back, left foot comes down, right foot up. And then roll back, bend right knee, half foot comes down, come up. Let's do two more, roll back. Left foot down, see if you can lift a little higher. One more time, roll back. This time come up, right foot down, stay. Place the fingers down, press into the right foot, step the left foot back, you're in a runner's lunge. Good, take a moment if you're meeting us there. Shoulders back. Good, and then inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. Good, breath in. Exhale, bend the back knee, cactus the elbows. Inhale, straighten and lift. And then exhale, aeroplane the arms, warrior free, lift left leg up. Good, inhale, step back, reach the arms up, high lunge. Exhale, bend the knee, cactus the elbows. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. Exhale, warrior free, launch forwards. One more time, step back, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, bend and cactus. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, warrior free, float forwards. Good, last inhale, reach the arms up. This time as you exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Draw the left knee into your chest. Extend the left leg forwards, your back in your pistol squat. Good, reach the arms forwards. Roll all the way back. Switch the legs, left foot comes down, roll all the way up. Place the fingers down. Press into the left foot, step the right foot back. Bend into the front knee. Inhale, high lunge. Good, as you exhale, bend the knee, cactus the elbows. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, launch, warrior free. Inhale, step back, rise up. Exhale, bend and cactus. Inhale, straighten, lift up. Exhale, warrior free. Doing so well, one more, inhale, rise. Exhale, bend and cactus, really squeeze the shoulders. Inhale, extend. Exhale, warrior free. Good, inhale, step back, arms to the sky. This time, exhale, fingers to the floor. Shift the weight forwards, draw right knee into the chest. Extend it forwards, back into your pistol squat. This time, lower down, roll back, hug both knees into the chest, and just take a little rock from side to side. Good, just a few moments. Noticing any pulsing, sensations, heat. I've got a lot of heat, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Good, can you hear how out of breath I am? Oh dear. Good. Anyway, from here, hands behind the thighs. Let's begin to rock forwards and up, forwards and back. Roll forwards and up, forwards and up. And after about four rocks, you're gonna come up, cross the ankles, hands down, step or jump back, plank, and lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Good, breath in. 
Let it go. Good, nearly there, so close. Let's inhale, look forwards. Now as you exhale, we're gonna come into a little squat with the feet together. So bend the knees, step or jump the feet together. Lower the bottom into your little toe stand squat. Good, now from here, begin to walk the hands backwards. Feet come down and you're gonna lift the hips into your reverse tabletop. Take the feet kind of parallel, maybe about hip distance apart. Press into the feet as you lift and squeeze the hamstrings. Good, now from here, last little bit of power, inhale. Now as you exhale, you're gonna bring the bottom back behind you, straighten the legs and try and lift the bum all the way back. Good, inhale, bend the knees, pull the hips forwards and up. Exhale, pull the bottom back, lift up through the hips, keep pressing through the hands. Inhale, lift forwards and up. Exhale, draw all the way back. Twice more, inhale, squeeze the bum, lift. Exhale, pull all the way back. You've got it, one more, inhale, lift. Exhale, pull back, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Oh. Give everything a shake. Shake it out, shake the head, shake the legs. Really, really shake it out. Whew. Really, really lovely, good. And then just let the legs extend out long. Little bend in the knees there if you need it. Let's inhale, arms up. And then exhale, forward fold, Paschimottanasana, just let everything go. Good, you can let the spine round here. You can let the knees bend. Just let the eyes close and just take a moment to slow down the heart rate. Just let it all begin to slow. Maybe a couple of sighs through the mouth. Whatever you need, just to come back to a steady balance. Lovely, and then slowly come all the way back up. Bring yourself towards the top of your mat if you're not already. And then just lie all the way down onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest, little rock side to side. Good, and then just keep hold of the right leg and just extend that left leg to the bottom of the mat. Just squeeze the right knee in. Really great one for digestion. One of my favorites actually. And then extend right arm to the right. Use your left hand to take that right knee over to the left into a twist. And just take your gaze wherever feels most comfortable. Maybe you even just close the eyes and just take a couple of moments. Just letting all the hard work just begin to soften and slow. Lovely, and then draw the knees back to center, or the right knee back to center. Extend right leg, draw left knee in, give it a squeeze, really pressing it into the abdomen. And then take the left arm to the left, draw the right knee, left knee even over to the right, that's it, and just let the gaze be wherever. Let the shoulders relax and just breathe. Maybe you're letting go of breath control now and just letting the breath return to its natural rhythm. And then slowly coming back to center, drawing both knees into the chest, giving yourself a big old squeeze. And then extend the legs to the bottom of the mat, reach the arms up over the head. And let's just take a full body stretch here. So big full inhale as you squeeze everything super, super tight, including the face, the bum, the legs, everything super, super tight. And then exhale, let it go. Release the arms next to your hips. Take your feet to the corners of the mat. And just let the feet naturally roll outwards. Let the fingers naturally curl inwards. And just rest here in your Shavasana. Just let the body release 
any tension, any effort. Just completely surrender. Just completely let go. And please feel free to stay here for as long as you feel you need to. Otherwise, if you're ready to reawaken, just begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Begin to breathe deeply, maybe circling ankles and wrists. And then just draw one knee into the chest at a time. Give yourself a big old squeeze, a massive thank you for your body, for its strength, your stamina, your commitment, your discipline. And then keeping the eyes closed, if you can, just make your way up to a comfortable seated position in any way that feels right for you. Let's just finish our practice together, taking one final breath. Bring the hands together into prayer. Grow tall through the spine. Take a full inhale. Biggest ah sound. Let it go. Ah. Bring the thumbs to the third eye. The point between the eyebrows. Bowing the forehead down. As I thank you so much for sharing your practice. Your energy and your time with me. Thank you so, so much for joining this practice. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel challenged and I hope you feel energized. Well done, it wasn't easy. So uh, give yourself a pat on the back. And if you have any other video requests, please let me know. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know uh, if I should do more like this. See you next time.